Great, thank you so much, Ms. Chevry. Um, we're gonna share the screen now so we can look at our PowerPoint. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our second ENL parent workshop. My name is Ms. Rayo, and I am the ENL teacher here. Also presenting with me today are Ms. Lavelia and Ms. Lawrence, who are also part of the ENL team. And we are here today to tell you about some educational websites that your child can visit to help them learn English. So um, I'm just going to turn, turn the, the, to the next slide. Good. There are so many websites that your child can visit, but we're gonna tell you about a few that we highly recommend. Um, as we spoke about in our last workshop, PBS has some fabulous educational shows such as Sesame Street, Arthur and Dora. Um, they also have a website, pbskids.org, for many of the shows that they air. And on this website, your child can play games that can help them learn the letters, rhymes, colors, and so much more. Um, okay. Thank you. Our school purchased the Reading Eggs program that I'm sure many of you are familiar with for the ENL children. The great thing about this program is they can use it at home as well as in school. The program is designed to make learning easy and fun. And the Reading Eggs program contains beginning reading assignments, while the Reading Express has early chapter books and over 600 ebooks at different reading levels for the more advanced students. Um, there's a great combination of games, activities, books, and lessons. Um, we're going to turn to the next slide now so I can show you how your child will log on. Um, every ENL child has received a personal login and a password. And as they enter this information, they will be brought to the home screen, all the way to the left, where they will select either um, Reading Eggs or Reading Express. After they click on reading eggs, if I have assigned them a lesson, the screen that says assignment will pop up. Your child should click on the start now and they will begin the assignment for them. Um, the first time your child logs on to the reading eggs, they will be given an initial placement assessment, which will allow the students to begin working at the appropriate reading level for them. I am able to log into my teacher account. I can see a child's work. I can see how many lessons they've completed and how well they've performed. I could then adjust their lessons accordingly. The children really enjoy the Reading Eggs program because it is highly motivating with activities and books, which keeps your child engaged and on task. It's also a great way for your child to build their literacy skills independently. Um, they get to learn while they're also having fun at the same time. Um, does anyone have any questions about the Reading Eggs program? If not, I'm going to turn the presentation over to Ms. Lavelia. Okay. All right, everybody, you can hear me, right? Oh, hold on a second. Can everybody hear? Yeah? Okay, good, just making sure. Okay, so, I'm gonna to speak to you about a, um, a website that I have purchased from my students. I purchased a teacher account. However, you can purchase this um, as a parent. It is free. And if you wanted to upgrade it, it is extremely minimal in cost. Um, it's called Moby Max. Uh, and like I said, it is free to sign up. You can start with a trial, but then they'll keep on extending it. Um, it just will be a little bit more limited but however, the things I'm gonna show you in this presentation are all the things that you can do at the free level anyway. Um, there's just a few more additional uh, things that you can do if you had a paid subscription, but honestly, I think it's a, a really great website. And the reason why I actually purchased it for all of my students, so I um, work with special education and I work with ENL students. Um, so the reason why I actually purchased it is because I do really firmly believe in um, the presentation, I believe in the way that it is designed to really look at a child and to see where they're at and then where we need them to go. So it's standard based, it's skill, it's skill based and standards based, and it is a program that helps fill in the gaps. So your children are constantly learning new things every day. So we're working on making sure that if there's a gap and if they need a little extra practice, 
the practice that they receive is skill-based. Um, it's extremely effective. The learning is differentiated. Um, it's interactive. So there's interactive lessons. The students aren't just sitting there and watching it. It's a lesson and then there's practice that goes along with it. It's also like reading eggs, highly uh, engaging. So they receive like awards and badges for everything that they do. They get additional time um, to play games. So the more that they go on and practice the skills, the, the, the time they get to actually play games and it's just like little rocket ships and fireworks. So it's a really engaging website and the kids look forward to going on it when they're here with me. Um, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of information about how to sign up. Um, you'll just log into the mobimax.com website. Again, it's free. What you do is you create your own account. So here is like this little picture over here. So you go in, as soon as you log in, you're gonna come up with this screen and you either create an account for educators, which you know, which is teachers can do this as well, um, or for families. When you create for families, you can actually um, uh, select to put more than one child on it. So if you have a child in third grade and a child in first grade and fifth grade or whatever, every single child that is in your home that's gonna be practicing it could also be added to the uh, screen. So you can uh, put in your, make up a username and a password. You put your child's name in, and your children's name in, and then you'll log right in. So as soon as you do all this and log in, this is necessary in order for you to actually access the information. You do have to create um, a username and password for what this way you can log in. Um, once you log in, um, you don't have to take the assessments. However, MobiMax um, prides themselves on the assessment component because wherever your child is in the moment, they're looking at exactly where they are and then they're utilizing the standards to see where the gaps are. So when they create the lessons, the lessons are actually created um, based on what they need to practice. Not skills that they've already mastered, but now skills that they're a bit behind in or they need more practice in. So when you would go in, you would initially log in, you go to the assessments, right? You'll have a little screen like this. The next screen you'll see will look like this. So here's an example. So like the Smith family has two children right? And then you click on the kids. Let's say that Sarah is going to be the student that's working today. Click on Sarah, sign in. You put their password in, sign in, and boom, they get a little screen. It says, hey, Sarah, have fun using Moby Max. They give them little comics and little jokes that they absolutely love, and it reads to them as well. Okay, so once you're in, you're going to get this screen, right? And if you ever want to come back to this screen, there's a little bookshelf right? That's there. These little books that are here will always take you back to the assessment screen. But this is the initial screen that you'll go into. It's an assessment screen and you choose the focus of the assessment that you want to take, right? Now, how do you know where the focus is? I would say um, speak to Ms. Rayo and, and find out like where, where could they benefit from extra practice. Speak to their classroom teachers um, and see where they can benefit from extra practice. It has reading, writing, math, phonics, um, all different types of literacy um, skills that you could you could think of. I mean, it's it's a fully um, it's a fully functioning page of anything that your children are learning. And again, everything goes along with the common core grade level standards as well. Um, when they go in, they take an assessment anywhere from about five to 15 minutes. So again, we never want to stress a child out. So the assessment could take five minutes. Um, if it's very, very challenging after they get a certain amount of the questions wrong, then the assessment will stop and the lessons will be created on a bit more of a basic level. However, as they master the lessons, it'll get harder. You know, it'll be more challenging um, as it goes along. Um, once the assessment's too hard and they've gotten too many wrong, then um, it'll just stop and then it'll start the lesson. So here's the screen. Once you press whichever assessment you want, you'll get this screen, it'll say you starting your placement test, click the green button, and then it'll bring you to the assessment. Um, and then again, like you're taking a reading or a math, if you wanna go back and do um, this one here, like reading level assessment, this is a really great one. Um, you know, you click on the reading level assessment, you can take as many assessments as you like. Um, and again, just click the green arrow and it takes you to the next screen. It's very colorful, it's very fun, it's very funny. Um, and then, 
if by some chance you want to log in and practice other skills, right? So you don't have to take all the assessments. You don't have to do assessments on everything. Let's say that you have parent-teacher conferences and you're, um, the teacher says, um, you know, they really need some help with uh, reading comprehension of literature and their inferencing skills. And, um, you know, that you can go right in and you could pick this is just an example. You can go into that little um, screen that has the bookcases, the book, the little books, and you could pick whatever skill you want to work on. So I love this one because this one is reading literature. Huge, huge standard from like, you know, third grade on, especially like using details, making inferences, finding the correct details to support your inferences, um, identifying uh, explicit and implicit information. So it's teaching them this skill. So a lot of times there's a lot of figurative language in stories. Our ENL students sometimes struggle to read between the lines because things don't always translate from one language to another. So how do they know what that means? So it's, it's super helpful in that regard. So again, if literature is where you wanna go, you could do that. Um, if it's just phonics, let's say they need more interaction with the language, boom, they go into the phonics and it's going to bring them through long vowels, short vowels, um, everywhere up to root words, base words, suffixes. So you, you really have a lot of options in this. And again, this is also free. So it's not like these components that I'm sharing are also free. And again, uh, I, I really feel very strongly about the program. Um, because the topics that your child will start with are based on an assessment. So the lessons are data-driven based on your child. Um, all the questions are also based on your child's grade level and their standards. So they're always working towards their grade level standards. So when they're feeling confident you know, with what they're learning in the classroom, practicing at home, it's just the bridge together to both. Um, and finally, the, the gaps, right? So we don't want our students to always have so many skills that are splintered. Right, maybe they understand letters and sounds, but the blending might be an issue. So we need to kind of, um, you know, uh, kind of bridge those gaps in order for them to be successful. And the more hours they put on it, and again, when I say hours, please do not have your child sitting on the, any of these programs for hours. But you know, 15 minutes at a time, um, it accumulates up to a certain amount of hours. So the studies have shown that children that have used it in 20 hours have increased one full grade level, which is huge. Um, and that's about it. So does anybody have any questions? I know I gave you a lot of information. Any questions about MobyMax? No, nobody? All right, all good. I'm gonna pass the uh, torch over to Ms. Lawrence so she could talk to you about her program. Okay, um, everyone can hear me okay? Thank you so much, okay. Um, thank you so much to Mrs. Chevry for organizing this e &L parent workshop for us this morning. And thank you, Mrs. Rayo and Mrs. Lavaglia for very thorough and detailed um, presentations regarding your two, your two websites that you recommend students use. Um, my, the, my recommendation is actually called starful.com. Um, starful was originally created um, solely focusing on reading skills such as phonemic awareness, um, common sight word usage and things like that. Now they've moved on to also incorporate mathematics topics um, as well as many others. So um, Starfall is for kindergarten through third grade students, but also can be used for older students too that have struggled with or maybe missed some of the skills that they should have learned or maybe missed picking up on in, in um, previous years. So they can certainly use it as well. Um, it's a very interactive and animated website with games and stories that students can participate in. While the um, two websites that Mrs. Laveglia and Mrs. Rayo presented are assessment-based, I find Starful to be more of a quick and easy little fun game to play that they can work on skills that they're learning in class um, to just kind of um, reiterate the skills. So for example, if I can share my screen with you for a moment. Uh, oh, I can't share it. Ms. Laveglia, you just have to stop sharing it for one moment, please. Thank you so, so much. Okay, uh, let me just give me one minute to share my screen. So this is just a quick um, snapshot of what Starfall looks like. As you can see, uh, just give the internet a minute to load. Hopefully that works out. Okay, perfect. 
Just give it one second to load. Sorry about that. So Sarpo is here and it's showing you both kindergarten and grades one through three. Can you see the screen? Oh, yet. Okay, okay. Didn't share the screen yet. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Now you're good. Now we're good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, perfect. So as you can see, oh. Storable is a website that can be used for kindergarten through third grade, as I was saying. Now on the top, you can see that there's a sign in and a how to join. Parents and students, you don't have to do that part of it. You can actually just click directly on the link, click in whichever grade you feel applicable uh, is applicable for your, your child to use. And I'm just going to show you one quick example of something that your child can do on, on this particular website that I find helpful for a, lot of, for a lot of our students. So if you go here to the grades one through three, um, you could see this little guy here. Um, he's Zach the Rat. You can click on Zach the Rat. He, it says learn to read. He's one of the characters that's um, on the website. And I'm just giving it a minute to load. Um, if your child is learning about, for example, long vowel sounds, on the bottom here, numbers eight through 11 are all long vowel based um, books that they can read. In the first section, there's games that they can click on to play, which are interactive, where your child can move letters appropriately to where they belong. And in the middle here, there's some books that you can see. Your child can click on that book. Here's an example for one that's long eye vowel practice, which would be great for both kindergarten, first, and even second graders as well. Okay. So you click on whichever topic you'd like, whichever skill you'd like your child to work on. So they started as a very um, music oriented, fun and interactive um, lesson. Your child will simply oh, click I. on the word that your child is wow. trying to sound out and then they'll repeat the sound of it for them. You can X this out and then they click simply click the green arrow. And if you see here, there's an ear. If the child click, if your child clicks on the ear, is black and white. It will read them the whole sentence. This is great for ENL students because they'll have an opportunity to hear what it's supposed to sound like. And then they can also click on individual words. Oh. Spot. Where they'll be able to hear the word being sounded out or decoded and then blend it together to make that word. So this story goes on and you can click on each word. So if it's a decodable or a word that they can sound out, they click on that word. They might recognize some sight words, also known as snap words or high frequency words, in which case is. they'll probably end up reading it together. See, for example, there's the word is and the and. word and. Those are snap words. Your child can click on it, read it together. So helpful in building their confidence as well. When they start to notice a lot of those words, um, it's really helpful for their confidence and their reading skills. So it brings you through those stories. And it's interactive. They try to make it fun. The kids laugh at this part. So you can see that. And I'm just going to go back to the beginning of it. So there's so many different games that they can play, fun interactive lessons, lots of activities, um, and skill -based, skills based activities. If you'd like to, you can certainly ask your child's teacher what skills they're working on in class. So that if your child is doing some homework and they're struggling with something such as addition or even phonemic awareness, long vowel sounds, you can go right onto that website and you can just simply click on one of the links and have your child practice for just a few minutes and it will be super helpful for them. Um, okay, so we're all set with that. Um, does anyone have any questions in regards to Starfall? Anyone questions? Okay. Um, if you do have any questions, please always feel free to reach out to us, to Mrs. Rayo, Mrs. Oveglia, or myself. We would be so happy to help any of you with anything that you have questions about. You all have an extra special place in our hearts as ENL families, and we really appreciate all your support and your involvement um, in your child's education. We really do such a special place, and we love you all. So we're here for you always, and we appreciate you all, and have a wonderful day. I was all excited. This was really good. Um, so thank you so much for spending some time with us this morning. Um, I'm going to ask you to send me the links to those websites you shared out with me because I am going to send this video out along with the website, um, along with this video and the websites to the community. And I'm also going to post them on the website. Um, so if anyone ever wants to reference back, they have the opportunity to do so through us. Um, 
And I really appreciate the time and dedication you put into this. I actually recognize some of those websites. I use them with my own kids. Um, so that's very cool that they're still like up and running. So thank you so much for those of you that joined us this morning. We look forward to seeing you all on part three. And maybe you can join us on our wellness uh, yoga with Miss Laveglia coming up next month. That was a lot of fun last time. So hopefully you guys can join. Um, I'm going to wish you a wonderful Tuesday. Here at PS101, we're doing compliment day. So if you want to send out any shout outs, any compliments to our teachers, staff, other parents, neighbors, you know, take the opportunity. It's a nice day. Um, so we will catch up with you all later. Thank you so much.